Welcome to another episode of the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. My name is Alex, your host. Today is May 3rd. It's a Tuesday, actually. Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. Ready for another cathartic episode of the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. Today's theme is about when to abort. <laughs> Hence the title. Yes, I know as of now, there's like some decision that's been leaked by the Supreme Court that they may or may not overturn some long-standing precedent about whether or not bitches can, you know, kill off their kids or some something like that. And then states have taken it upon themselves to interpret it to either narrow narrow that quote-unquote right or expand on that right. Some states have gone as far as to be able to kill kids even after they've been born. Imagine that. Well, I truthfully, I, because I, I'm not in a position to bear children, um, I honestly don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. If it ain't got to do with business, it ain't got to do with me. But, but... The caveat there is that motherfuckers will find a way to make it a business and profit off of killing the defenseless. But hey, I mean, that is what it is. Business is war. And uh, business is fucking good. Business is war. Business is good. War is extremely lucrative. And if the ones that you are marking out for, I don't know, stem cells or whatever the fuck they use them for nowadays the ones that you're after don't fight back my guy why wouldn't you promote why wouldn't you outsource the decision to kill them onto their very own parents or their parents to be or their parents would be I don't fucking know man. <laughs> I don't know how that I, I don't know what the uh, what the labeling at that point uh, I don't know how, how the labeling is determined at that point. But I remember even when I was in community college, when I was a community, and I'll, I'll, get, I'll admit I wasn't the most upstanding citizen at the time. I may or may not have toyed with the idea of um, post, postpartumly aborting people, <clears throat> you know, postpartumly, maybe 18 years past motherfuckers can sign the line motherfuckers can cross it you feel me uh but postpartumly aborting people and i even argued you know for that conclusion i i was able to appreciate the argument from both extremes where yes i mean look at look at it nowadays where these folks uh who are on i don't know the the supposed right are saying Oh, it's my body, my choice, so I'm not about to get poked with any kind of, uh, what, what, what's it called? <laughs> Gene therapy juice, right? And then you got these motherfuckers on the left, on the quote-unquote left, who are also like, oh, my body, my choice, and if I want to kill, then I can kill. And you know what? You know what? I can appreciate both sides and see that they are rooted in sincerity and make my decision there where I, I mean I don't have to associate with either side though I could appreciate and respect their points of view and it's true if someone wants to get rid of someone else regardless of age regardless of gender regardless of race if they have the will if they have the power to do it, they can subvert any authority. They can subvert any right as long as they get away clean, right? I mean, because let's be honest. Let's be honest. You're getting dirty. You're getting dirty. And yet claiming, claiming to not... To, and, and then claiming to, uh, to, to doing it cleanly. Motherfuckers, crime ought to be perpetrated in silence, right? Otherwise, 
otherwise uh, crime by any uh, crime in his most exposed is offensive. It's offensive. You're taking advantage of someone who is in a more disadvantaged position. In this case, it would be the unborn. And if if there were any semblance of justice, the unborn would have a defense mechanism, right? But there is no justice there. They're just getting steamrolled. They're just getting railroaded. I mean, in this case, they're getting... They're getting extricated. They're they're getting aborted, right? And and I I, I even posited the argument in community college, and this was almost five, almost ten years ago. In community college, very very low level thinking. I said, if my parents, because the the narrative, the so called narrative, is that the unborn is acting as a parasite to the human body and not contributing anything productive. But if you're if you're conceiving a child and you're going to bring it into the world, that's that's a conscious sacrifice that you're making of your personal life in order to create another life outside or apart from your body, right? But, you know, Motherfuckers aren't really instilled with this value. So at the slightest, at the slightest inconvenience, they're, they're ready to, uh, to, to kill little motherfuckers. They're ready to kill defenseless motherfuckers. That's, that is the definition of a bully. That being said, I said... And I told them, I mean, because back then, I, I, I told you, I wasn't the most upright. I wasn't the most dignified. I may or may not have had uh, uh, honorable, I may or may not have acted on honorable motives beforehand. But I did tell them and I let them know that if my parents, if I had put my parents now at my age, which was back then was what, like 18 or 20 or something like that. I was 18 or 20. If, if my parents had decided just arbitrarily, that I had put them through enough grief, that I had given them enough headache, that I had sponged off of them enough resources without contributing anything. I mean, I was already 18, right? A quote unquote legal adult fucking, I was of majority age, of legal age. But if they had decided that I was still a parasite because, I don't know, I was living with them or I was asking them for money or some shit, that they no longer wanted to support me, they could go through with an abortion, right? Is that not, or, or oh, is that too extreme? That's, that's too, too far, too long, uh, out of the body, too far uh, postpartum. But I told them if they did and they decided to do it, those bitches better come with knives and guns because at this point, they may have the will, they may have the power, they may subvert authority, they arguably may or may not have the right, but I, I now have defense mechanisms. I now have the ability to stand for myself and assert my own authority assert my own will, assert my own power, arguably assert my rights, right? Even if I don't know what the fuck they are, because I was 18, I was stupid as shit. I didn't, I, I, I didn't, my, I didn't, I wasn't wrapping my mind around, uh, around constitutional rights. I, I was still wrapping my mind around getting fast money. <laughs> and I argued this in class And I noticed, I realized, I realized that when you come with heat like that in the classroom, in a classroom full, full of, uh, full of fools, essentially, in a classroom full of people who just go with the flow, who just go with the crowd, who, who run with the crowd, don't have an independent thought of themselves, they've got nothing to retort with. And, and notice how it didn't say respond or reply with. 
they don't have anything to even retort with. Nothing smart, nothing witty, can't even crack a joke. Because I posed it, even though I said it with a very sincere, sincere tone of voice, that shit was a joke. It was satirical. You know why? Because, <laughs> because the, the line of work that I'm going into is even more extreme, more satirical, more communist, more fascist, more authoritarian, more socialist. I'm aborting motherfuckers. I'm, for the sake of the community, if it takes a community to raise a child, I will abort your children after they turn 18. If they fuck around, they will find out. I don't care if they got parents. I don't care if the mother's in the household or the father is missing. I will make the mother cry. <laughs> I'm that nigga. I'm that motherfucker who will do it for you. Why? Because in real in, the, in real life, if if a female if a if a female has to abort, if a female has to abort, needs an unprovoked abortion, an unjustified abortion, because they weren't prepared, they were uninformed, they they were unintelligent. They, they, they couldn't think two steps ahead that if they fuck around with the wrong guy, they're going to get left uh, 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 pregnant and, and barefoot, right? Dumb hoes essentially got caught lacking. They got caught lacking. And instead of taking it on the chin, doing the crime, doing the time, they want to deflect that responsibility. They want to deflect that guilt. And if they won't put that man on child support, then they're going to take it out on the unborn. Or literally, they're going to take out the unborn. God damn, that's a cold one. Take out the unborn. And in some extreme cases, even take out those who have been born and just happen to be a burden. And the same goes for for males my uh my, <laughs> my gentlemen out there you fuck around if you ain't professional you take things personal always you take things not nah, not personal <laughs> you think emotionally always if you think with your little head right you, your your emotions get riled up you think oh i'm just an animal i'm pulsing i'm pulsing with testosterone and you got to fucking bust nuts Nigga, if you get caught lacking, you will have a kid. You will be put on child support for 18 years. If you can't finesse or talk your baby moms into aborting, right? If you can't conspire with your bitch to murder the child, you're going to get caught lacking. And if you abort, you still get caught lacking because that is a stage in life that you got, uh, that you were exposed and got caught unprepared, unaware, you and your bitch ought to get taken out. Even if, even if you and your bitch were just a momentary fling in that moment when you're coming together, when you're coming together and wasting time, you're wasting my time. You're wasting the community's time. You're wasting corporate's time because even though you might think, oh, what you do in private doesn't affect the public, what you do in private unproductive what you do unproductive affects the whole fucking universe my guy affects corporate that's 30 minutes and i'm being generous i'm being generous with you one pump chumps out there with you bitches that come once and be like oh i'm fucking tired i'm cramping <laughs> i'm being generous because it's it's 15 minutes at most being unproductive Wasting fucking time. Wasting time by fucking, essentially. When you could be making money. Bitches out here talking like like they're real hustlers. Motherfuckers out here talking like they're real players, like they're like they're about that life, getting bags and shit. Nah, nah. You wasting corporate's time, my guy. So anything that comes from it that's not producing, anything that comes from it that ain't productive. You might as well get lumped in 
You might as well get lumped in with that clump of cells. You might as well get clumped in with that lump of cells and aborted. Bitch made motherfucker. But that's me. You feel me? That's me. It's your body, your choice. But at the same time, it could be your body and I'm making choices. You see that shit happening all the time. Because a parasite, by definition, is a foreign body. Oh, and it just so happens that that foreign body ain't your body. So how could it be your choice? Your choice was to make that foreign body, was to take the risk, roll the dice of making that foreign body. Now you're responsible to bringing it to fruition. Otherwise, I mean, destroying it, you might think it's your power, your will. They don't know any better. Nigga or you bitch, you don't know any better. You're living in a corporate world. And if you don't see it taking you out, you wouldn't feel it. (laughs) You wouldn't even know any better. Oh, shit. And yeah, I, I get the Santa feasible argument because this this isn't really an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. It's a life for a life. And the last person standing is the dirtiest. Not all kings did righteous things to keep their kingdoms. That's corporate. That's some corporate cowboy shit right there. You have to know dirt to appreciate what is clean a lot of these hoes and tricks out here you know because bitches ain't nothing but hoes and tricks and bitches come in any gender any sex any gender bitches ain't nothing but hoes and tricks so a lot of these hoes and tricks out here don't know any better so I don't blame them that's like Blaming an ant for being an ant. It's like blaming a snake for acting like a snake. Blaming a rat for ratting out. It's like blaming a snitch for being a bitch. I mean, you know what I mean. (laughs) And I'm not saying... If you're thinking, Alex, you're saying that, like, I just can't, I can't kill at all? No, you can kill. I mean, because there, there is a difference between murder and, and killing, right? Murder is premeditated. It's, it's calculated. It's cold. And uh, that, that effectively is what abortion is, right? In some instances. In the majority of instances, actually. I mean, there's plenty of studies out there. Google may or may not be your best friend. You want to duck, duck, go the shit, do it. You can look it up. The, the, the primary, the predominant reason for aborting is not because, oh, the, the mom's health is in danger or, or oh, the, the mom got raped. It's a product of incest. No, it's not that. It's literally inconvenienced. Literally being inconvenienced is enough. You wake up with morning sickness, that might be enough. You make you made your mother have morning sickness, nigga prepare to die. <laughs> <coughs> Damn, I've been I've been burdened with a whole lot more than that. And these foreign bodies are outside of my body, man. Motherfucking parasites to life. And what am I supposed to do? Just sit idly by? Just watch them fuck up corporate? Nah, man. Corporate is this... Corporate was supposed to be this beautiful creation. Is this beautiful creation and it's being dragged down. Notice how I'm not saying the United States or America... Because this thing is corporate life. This this realm you're living in is a corporate world. It's a corporate paradigm. 
It's a corporate world order. And if you don't know that, you better wake the fuck up. Because if you don't know that, you might get taken out. You might get written off as just another mouth, as a fucking parasite. If you don't participate, you will get played. And that's not to say that abortions don't happen for legitimate reasons. In that case, you might, I guess you might set them aside or set them apart legally, medically, and you call them terminations. Call them terminations because even that is a sacrifice. That is a sacrifice. It's, a, it's another conscious sacrifice you have to make where if the mother's life is in danger or, or and this might sound a little eugenicist, but if the baby is suffering severe deformity, I mean, shit, if I was brought into life with severe deformities and, and everybody's got something, right? Even your mental, even the, the way your brain formed could have some unseen deformities and, and the way you think. If, if you're an extremist, extreme liberal or extreme conservative, blood, that's a, that's a deformity in my book. <laughs> Conforming is a deformity. How about that? <laughs> and that's an extreme fucking deformity. And you ought to be, ought to be terminated. Just, just taking pity on your bitch ass. You ought to be terminated for the sake of humanity. But you know, that's that's a little spicy. That's, that's a little spicy talk. But I'm playing with these titles, seeing if I can or can't comment on headlines as I see them come across, and just tying them into corporate because it's what it is. At the end of the day, it's a corporate world, and whatever decision comes down. You don't think democracy is, is going to dictate the way it goes? For the longest, for the longest, even when abortion was quote unquote illegal, this shit was happening. You go to a fucking witch doctor who quote unquote had supernatural powers, but in reality just had access to powerful herbs made a little potion for you, made a little herbal solution, gave it to you, necessarily poisoning the life you were carrying or, or making you sterile, chemically castrating people. You know how that goes. You know how that goes. And they made money. They were uh, miniature entrepreneurs, but they're informed with a spiritual mission and maybe not even a mission a mission just informed by spirituality they do it because the spirits say that if they continue doing it people will come to them with gifts and gold and and prizes and awards that's capitalism baby that's capitalism and if they do it for a community if they do it for their tribe or their culture that's corporate that's corporate culture oh you didn't know <laughs> it ain't that hard man all this logic comes back to corporate all the logic all the tact comes back to corporate you want to do this shit on your own do this shit on your own Seclude yourself, isolate yourself, take yourself out of the equation. Fuck around and get aborted. I'm gonna title this one Abort Mission. 